They are the winners of this year's Highway 80 rivalry. Coach, you're 6-0. How does it yeah, feel? It feels really, really good. Our kids have done the things it takes to be here, and I'm awful proud of them for being here. God, they played a good football game tonight. 75 points. Talk to me about this offense. Well, we got some good kids. <laughs> you know, when you, when you got kids like Jet and, and Colt and our offensive line and Prox and Blaine and him, it's easy to call plays, you know, and um, – Man, they just, they believe in it. You know, we didn't, we didn't throw but one pass tonight. You know, and we knew that coming in that we were going to just take this thing and try to run it at them and see what we could do with it. And, and boy, they bought into it. And when you got your receivers that like to catch for 100 yards on the week, you know, and they just say, hey, just, just hand me just sweep or just let me block, and we're going to win the game. That's all they worried about was winning the game, and I'm awful proud of them for that. It's nice to be undefeated, Coach. It's nice to be undefeated when that win comes against a big rival. Yeah, Talk to me about this rivalry. You're only 10 miles away from them. Yeah, it is. Fans are out in the storm. Man, I'm going to tell you what. I took this job a few years ago, okay, and I did not know what kind of rivalry this was to the very first time we played them at our place over there. And we ended up winning that game late, coming back and winning because they, they were about to beat us. And I tell you, our crowd went nuts. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get off the field from people hugging and going on. This a big. It's a fun rivalry, though. It's not something that's. Uh, it's not something that's bad. It's a fun rivalry. Our kids buy into it. Their kids buy into it. The fans like. You saw the stadium tonight. It was packed, and that's just that's what Friday, Friday night football is all about in high school. The Indians are still undefeated after Week Six. Kyle Owens and Michael Coleman will talk about if they can stay that way in overtime.